guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, in the last episode, we kind of got started with Mechanica. Um, I went through some slightly traumatic experiences as a munchkin. Um, well, when I was a munchkin. I guess I still kind of am. Oops. The teacher caught me. I thought she'd still be in the class playing with her mobile. I'm sure she was just waiting for me to do something wrong so she could punish me. Anyway, let's see where she takes me. The headmaster's office. What a surprise. It's not the first time I've been told. I've been told me off at school. Sometimes because I don't pay attention in class. And sometimes for laughing at the teacher. He just told me I'm expelled for a week. And I get home, my parents already know what's going on. And they say the same thing they always say. That I need to focus, that I need to respect my teachers. Well, I'm tired of it all. The moment has arrived to end all of this. I don't like most people. And there are loads of awful things in this world. It should be made to disappear. <laughs> to achieve that, I need my finish my secret project, Mechanica. Then I'll be able to take over the world. And reshape it just how I want it. <laughs> I'm gonna make the most of being expelled. And use the time to complete my project. When I find all the necessary components, I'll be able to construct Mechanica. Let's get to it! <laughs> I'm in. Got an email from Robo Podcast. Let's see what the email from Robo Podcast says. That par take part in our competition for the chance to win a free multimedia system. Answer the question correctly, and you win a prize. Oh my God, I'm not good at science. This might not end well. Hmm. It'd be really useful for my project. Let's take a look at the question. Which of the following giant robot? need two pilots to control it. Vangelon 01, Mumzungan, Optimus Prime, Gypsy Danger, Metal Gear Rex. Okay. Ooh, I'm tempted to Google this. Um, I am going to actually just type- I don't think it's Optimus Prime. I don't think it is. But that could just be like that answer that you have to like just completely mess everything up. So Mazinger Z, Optimus Prime. There's probably people out there that know this answer, but I am tempted to just search it kind of just when I have like breaks in it or in the event that my computer stops working. So, we'll leave that for later. Need the Mechanica <laughs> Manifesto. Sorry, I'm trying to Google the first dance. Oh my gosh. My, my other computer's being stupid now. Eh. Ahem. Project Mechanica. Plan for destruction of all things that aren't awesome. It just sounds so good. Anyways, back to reading the manifesto. I, Nika Allen, seven years old, am sick to death of this world. My parents don't care about me. My brother take, never takes any notice of me. At school, I never get taught anything useful. There are loads of things that shouldn't exist. It's for the reason, these reasons that I've decided to destroy everything that isn't cool. With Mega Nika, I will destroy and eliminate the things and the people that I don't like. I'll start at home, then school, the city, the entire world. <laughs> I'll get rid of everything that's boring and pointless, and this world will be better for it. If it's not cool, it will disappear. If you're not cool, hide. Meganika is here. Powerful stuff. As soon as I finish the project, I'll distribute this manifesto, and this party will begin. Right, now what? Okay. Let's get back to our mission. There's nothing interesting in the lockers. Um, let's see. <gasps> Do 
She has like a little Bemo. It's adorable. Let's first. I, I, I don't know why we're gonna take the Tesla. Oh, that's why. Great. The list of components I need to complete the Mechanica is written on the poster. Here we can check what things we still need to complete the project. If you're not sure what the component is, tap on it, and it will help you understand what it is we need. When we have a useful object in the backpack, select the item from the list that you want to complete, and then the associated item from the backpack. When we have all the items, we can go to my bedroom and put them in the pneumatic tube, which was behind, which is behind where the poster was. From there, I'll go to the assembly machine, and that's it. Let's go and find the components. Oh, we got tap her. Okay. There's no chance I'm gonna give my poster to someone that I don't know. Or use it for anything that would ruin it. Okay, I was gonna put it to cover it. Let's see. Wait. Let's grab equipment we need. How do I get out? Okay, am I supposed to answer this question? We don't have all the things we need yet. Oh, that's the door we need. I thought that was the door we went out of. Okay. Okay, Metal Gear Rex is single pilot. Not that. Next up, Gypsy Danger. Also, that is from uh, Shadow Gear, if you guys didn't know. Okay, that's weird. I got a freaking, like, Separated head. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go out the store. Okay. A picture of my grandma Rosemary when she was younger. Why does she look like a weird Luna? Don't touch the picture, Grandma Rosemary. It's sacred. Talk to Grandpa. Sorry, he's a bit depressed. What's the matter, Granddad? You look sad. Oh, I miss your Grandma Rosemary. We're real happy when we were living together. But she doesn't want to live with me anymore. Oh my God, that's so sad. mad at each other, you and Grandma. I can't remember, Nika. I'm sure it was something silly. That's why I can't remember. Doesn't seem like she's forgotten, though. Why don't you go talk, go to Grandma's house and speak to her? I've tried, but she gets really aggressive. As soon as she sees me, she starts shouting that she's gonna kill me. And all because I can't remember what I did. Change the subject. Damn it. You writing something? It's a letter to your grandma asking for her to get forgive me. I just can't remember what I did to make her mad. So I don't know what I'm asking her to forgive me for. Until I know what she's mad about, I don't know what to write. <sighs> okay. Cheer up, Gundit. I'll see you later. Uh, okay, let's head on out. Can't find anything about Gypsy Danger. Okay, let's go downstairs. Oh, they got a dude. <laughs> Just literally walk out the door. I I'm assuming that. Like what? Whatever we need is not inside the house. I kind of love her hair. It's like so... Hello. Hello. Are you a No. 
Did you think we were dressed up as anime characters? You should show a little bit more respect or do your research first. You're the leaders, right? Yes. But not Nakabono. Nabokona Lolitas. We're like the Japanese Lolitas. Get it right. We like to make beauty, delicacy, and femininity stand out. Fashion is a fundamental method of expressionism. That's why we like to take care of every last detail when it comes to our appearance. Why are you dressed up as sweets? Sorry, have you looked at yourself in the mirror recently? You look like a mini mechanic. Get back to your workshop and don't bother us again. I don't think these girls will survive my bird. I don't know anyone in that house, so... Oh my gosh. I, get I can't find anything on the others. I don't need bread or pastries. Yes, we do. We're gonna buy people off. I don't know where I'm going. She really leaves her look. Okay. Let's go talk to this dude first. He must be waiting for the bus. Okay. This looks like our place. This looks like our kind of place. Hello, Mr. Irons. Anika, what do you need? See, the shop is full of cool things as usual. I know, few, few people buy anything. I always bring in the best of the best when it comes to tools and DIY. I wanted to say thank you for all the tools you've given me. Thanks to you, my project Mechanica is full steam ahead. Soon you'll be able to check out my great creation. No need to thank me. At least you appreciate the tools and the materials. And of course, show me what on earth it is that you're building when it's finished. Oh, that's so nice. He's helping this girl destroy the world. Let's head on out. We're gonna go look for her grandma's scooter. Traffic safety. Oh, you can't talk to them? Boo. My grandma doesn't live there, and neither do I. At least she understands stranger danger. It's a bike. It's a pretty cool one. I don't understand why people risk leaving their bikes in the streets. Any delinquent can come and te tear it apart. What the hell is this guy doing? Excuse me. Are you just as Gundam? Correct! Or more accurately, RX-78-2 Gundam. Sweet. What exactly are you doing? This is my mating ritual. I need to find someone that is into giant robots like me. I am 48 years old and still a virgin. Eh. Okay. I like mechas too. But you could be my dad, so I don't think so. <laughs> oh yeah! Okay. Yeah, not. Yeah, not a good idea. Anyways, I got a project on the go. I've got a project on the go which I can't put aside. You've got great taste. Good luck. Thanks. I think I'm going to meet my Aphrodite tonight. By the way, you seem to know lots about giant robots. Could I do, do with your help? Do you know which giant robot needs two drivers? Of course, it's any Jaeger from Pacific Rim, like Coyote Tango, Romeo Blue, or Gypsy Danger. Thanks. Let's go in here. I want to go in Comic Sans. Oh. We can go to the photo booth! So it doesn't bother me. Oh my god. Is this where that girl works? Hey! Hey, beautiful! You look young and hip. Oh, thanks. I take herbal remedies to keep myself young. I can't get rid of the hump on my back, but otherwise I feel pretty good. Are you waiting for your turn to purchase something? Yes, I'm, I'm behind that lady. You can go ahead if you're in a rush. I'm not in a rush. 
Have a good day. Thanks, beautiful. Let's talk. Oh gosh, what was her name? Hello, Miss Knife. Ah, oh, hello, Nika. How are you? Zack a pillar. Yes, yeah, she's in the background preparing the meat. How's this? Great, thanks. We've always got clients. Sometimes more, sometimes less. We can't complain. I'll let you get back to work. Best to your mom. Let's go back here. See what we can find. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. They're all alive too. That's what's messed up. Hi, Agatha. I want to ask you. What's going on here? Some sort of satanic ritual? No. We're having a carnivorous ritual with my friends, the animals. A carnivorous ritual? Sounds a bit strange. It's a common practice amongst those who offer themselves to carnivorism. We pray to the great bleeding pig, so that through the great gate, through the gate of great sacrifice, our God can return to this world, can, can, can return to this world the body of the animals in the shape of premium meat for me to eat, and give me, give them all the happiness my stomach can provide. While the gate isn't working, we're making the most of the time to be prepared for the final offering to the great bleeding pig. Uh, what? Nothing, nothing. Your religion seems a bit strange to me. Do you really believe in con? Do you really believe in carnivorism? Of course. There's nothing better than a sirloin steak or T-bone. That said, I've got nothing against chicken breast or rabbit thigh. And of course, on my inside, the animals will find all the protection I can give them. Thanks to the power bestowed on me by the great bleeding pig. The power to make the animals happy with the warmth of my stomach. Hey, how did you find out about such a strange religion? Well, don't tell anyone. And keep your voice down. I don't want the animals to hear you. So, the truth is, I am into carnivalism. I've always really liked animals, and meat too. So, I thought I'd start a religion and convince the animals that the safest place for them is in my stomach. To start with, with, to start with they weren't sure, but now they trust me. With this new religion, I've been able to fulfill my dream, to see the animals happy, and later eat them and keep their happiness inside me. Don't you feel bad for tricking the animals? I'm doing them a favor. This world is cruel for them. Before they were really sad, just before they were put through the grinder. But through the power of carnivorism, they are able to give themselves gladly before heading off to their final destination. Inside me, they'll be fine. I will protect them. Bleeding pig is that pig on the cross? Well, it's not actually him. It's one of the animals from the butchers that offered himself to be sacrificed and to represent the bleeding pig. And I think it turned out well. What do your parents think of all this? My parents don't care. They've let me use the space in exchange for some meat to sell in the shop. Everyone's happy. What's wrong with that machine? The gate of the great sacrifice? No idea. The animals were happily giving themselves to the bleeding pig. Until the machine stopped working a little while ago. Must be that planned obsolescent thing you explained to me once. But I'm sure it can be restarted. Maybe by push it, putting a boat code into the big keypad, you're really good with those things. Why, won't, why don't you give it a go? Okay. I'll leave it with your friends. Okay, see you later. Let's see. This keypad has numbers on it. I suppose I need to put it put in a key code. Let's zoom. Let's try... Nope. No, that's not right. Okay. It would be useful, but Agatha might need it. We, be we better ask her first. Let's go ask Agatha about the plates! Alrighty. Will you give me the circular saw you've got on the table? Of course. Do you think you could fix the gate first? If you're not able to fix, if you're able to fix it, the circular saw is yours. Okay. Let's look for the code. Well, logically, it makes sense that it's in here. Honestly, all the numbers are giving me a zero and one. We. How, how long have I been really filming? Okay. 
we are going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.